afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this episode of Serpente Sunday for Sunday, February 14th, 2021. I am Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary, where it is currently minus six degrees Fahrenheit outside with a wind chill of negative 18. And I am very happy to be inside with my snakes. The snake in the enclosure above me is who we're going to highlight today. Actually, we're going to highlight his enclosure because he just moved into it on February 7th. And it is a five foot by two foot by two foot black box cages enclosure. And what's important about us highlighting this enclosure today and me giving you a tour is that the snake that's inside is a Morelia Bradley that was hatched on July 20th, 2020 and arrived here on October 7th, 2020. His name is John Shepard, named after Lieutenant Colonel John Shepard from Stargate Atlantis. As you can tell by those dates, he's not very old and he hasn't been with us a super long time. He was produced by Ralph Polinsky at Midwest Serpentarium and he's still a tiny baby. I'm going to show you a video at the beginning of one of his training sessions so that it just reminds you which snake that we're talking about here and what his old enclosure looked like. So you might be thinking if he's just a little baby, why is he already in such a huge enclosure, which is likely going to be his adult enclosure. Well, it's because I took his entire 12 by 12 by 18 inch terrarium that he's been living in since he arrived in October. And I put the whole thing in this five by two by two black box cages enclosure. I left his terrarium furnished just like usual. Nothing changed for Shepard. Everything is just the same for him, except that I set his living space inside this bigger enclosure and I opened the door. So what you're gonna see this week is him acclimating to this space and me adding more and more to the space so that he feels more comfortable and has more environmental stimulation. This training session with Shepard is from almost three weeks ago and he's always been a fantastic learner and just a really solid student. If he was an employee, I would wanna have him working for me because he just does his job exactly how he's supposed to and then he goes about his business. This footage is early on, right after we moved Shepard into the new enclosure. And you could see that his enclosure is the top of one stack of five by two by two enclosures. And these are all from black box cages. This is pretty much how we had the basics set up when we put his terrarium inside. And I believe this is day two of him being in it. And he really likes to sit on top of his terrarium or he likes to sit in that sky hide. This is the sixth baby snake that I have used this method of transition with by moving their baby bin or their smaller enclosure into their adult enclosure. And it works so well because there's absolutely little to no stress for the snake whatsoever because absolutely nothing has changed for the snake except that the door to their enclosure or the lid to their tub is open and now they're free to escape when they want to. Now this is day three or four and he has decided that he really likes that sky hide. And he was actually totally inside the sky hide. But if you notice now there's some extra things in the enclosure to include that lizard lounger net. And he was watching me as I installed that. And he started coming out of his sky hide to see what I was doing. And he got bored with that after a while and then started going back inside. I've also added a magnetic ledge to this side of the enclosure as well as the hammock. And then on the other end of the enclosure, there's still some bare space. And so I'm about to fill that up. Now you can see that the right side of the enclosure as you're facing it doesn't look quite so bare. I've added more perching. I've added more greenery, which 
are not live plants. I'm not very good at keeping plants alive. So the, this is fake foliage for sure. Now that branch is real. That branch was collected from Woodland Park, Colorado, and it was thoroughly cleaned and sanitized before it was put into the enclosure. Here is another magnetic ledge that I've added on this end of the enclosure. These are really popular with the snakes, and these are both from Mag Naturals. And as you can see here, I have these magnetic ledges in other enclosures as well, and the snakes use them really frequently. They're textured, they have an uneven rough surface, and I think that's part of the appeal to the snakes. So basically here's his enclosure, the way that it's going to stay for now. I don't know if I will add more things to the space or not. He's got two magnetic ledges, he's got several perches, he's got two hides on the bottom, he has a shelf, he's got a log, there he is. Um, out exploring and I do need to mention that although he sits on top of his terrarium all day or he sleeps in or around his terrarium during the day that at night he is coming out and he is exploring the larger space he hasn't shown me any signs of stress or fear and it's just as though I forgot and left his enclosure door open and so he's taking advantage of that this is what the enclosure looks like right now as a whole. That's his old terrarium. So I do have water in his old terrarium and in the new enclosure. And that's because I absolutely did not want to change anything at all with his old living space. I wanted to literally put his entire old living space in the new enclosure and leave it as is and then fully furnish the new enclosure as well. So he's now free to get used to the new enclosure in his own time as he feels comfortable. That's his sky hide. He obviously is not in it right now, and so I wanted to just demonstrate how easily that slides out. In his old enclosure, he used to sleep during the day in this uh, half coconut hide, and he did that the very first night that I moved him in to this new habitat. It's got a rock inside and he would like to lie on top of that rock, kind of squish between that rock and the top of the coconut. And as you can see here, now he's sleeping during the day with himself squished between his enclosure and the wall. And many of the snakes really like spaces like that to rest in or to hide in when they're sleeping. And then what he'll do at night is he emerges, he comes out, he sits on top of his enclosure for a while or in his sky hide with his head hanging out. And then late into the night, he explores the entire space of this new habitat. I'm taking temperature readings. The lowest temperature reading that I found, which was actually this spot right under the log, was 73 degrees Fahrenheit. And the hottest reading is, well, on top of the rock there, which is right under his heat source, it's the ceramic heat emitter, is 85 degrees. And then next to the ceramic heat emitter up on that ledge, on the far end was 92 degrees and then on the end furthest from the heat is 82 degrees on the ledge and about 75 degrees in the net. And so as you can see, he's got a whole bunch of different temperature gradients and temperature variations to choose from. And then he also has a UVB light bar that's there next to his heat source. He's got two ground hides, which I'm not sure if you noticed in any of the previous video footage, but he he doesn't use those they're there if he wants them but he didn't use them in his old enclosure and he's not using them in this one but they're just there if he wants them or he can sit on top of them he used to sit in his half coconut hide on top of a rock and then lately now he's either been sleeping between his enclosure and the wall of the new enclosure or in the sky hide or up there on top of his terrarium